the horrible lot this week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft Knee News. I finally have something worthwhile reporting on. Now, unfortunately, at this time, I can't go into the details as to the whys and whatnots of my near two-year absence from Airsoft. But I hope this picture can give you some clues as to why everything's taken so bloody long. Subtle hint, I know, but I believe it's rather effective. A lot has been going on over the last year or so. I was told earlier this year that impact sports would be completely off the table for me and I'd never be able to run again. However, after upping my training in some areas and slowing it down in others, I've managed to continue getting stronger. I'm currently at around 70% strength in the bad leg and as of last week have been given clearance to start impact training and also been cleared that soon I should be safe to play airsoft again. About bloody time too, that's all I'll say. Now for a few disclaimers. The channel's more than likely going to go a bit slow over the next few months. I have a few reviews planned to fill the void, but I'm going to be focusing as much as I can on endurance and impact training in preparation for finally returning to the sport. And depending on how the knee takes to it, this could take anywhere from a month to three months before the channel becomes properly active again. So I apologize in advance if all's gone quiet on the Western Front. I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thanks to all of you horrible lot sitting there watching at home for your support over this time. I think this has got to have been one of the hardest things I've ever actually been through and it seems like not a week has passed without one of you lot pestering me and checking on how things are going my end. So thank you all for that. I feel like someone's sickly old nan back here. Now, whilst I'm feeling my age, a few pearls of wisdom for you to take away from what I've learned from all of this is there is nothing you can't do if you set your mind to it. Small steps taken each day, even if you don't feel like you're getting anywhere, add up over time. So set yourself small, realistic goals and keep on going even if it feels like you're not going anywhere. Another thing, never take the simple things such as mobility and health for granted. It's daft how within a few seconds all of that can be taken away from you and you never realized how good you had it before. And finally, and most importantly, wear knee pads, obsessively, at all times, in all occasions. Your knees are never safe. Ever. And I think that wraps it all up rather nicely. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, reviews, and how-tos. And maybe even some limpy gameplay footage. Mwah! Anyway, back to whatever you were doing. That is...